Now, Canada's Liberal Party MP Randeep Sarai has resigned as chair of the Pacific Caucus after he accepted responsibility for inviting convicted Khalistani terrorist Jaspal Atwal to a dinner event hosted for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau during his visit to India last week. Randeep Sarai, the MP from Surrey, apologized on Twitter, saying, quote, I want to again apologize for my role in recent unfortunate events. Moving forward, I will be exercising better judgment as I do don't want to distract from the good work of the Pacific Caucus. I will be stepping down as caucus chair." End quote. Remember, we on first reported on the story on Wednesday when Justin Trudeau spoke of India's alleged hand in sabotaging his visit to New Delhi. Trudeau, while responding to opposition's barbs in parliament, parroted his uh, national security advisor's line that some elements within the Indian establishment were behind inviting Atwal to his dinner event at the Canadian High Commission. These allegations were first made by Trudeau's national security advisor during a briefing in Canada. Atwal, remember, was convicted of attempting to assassinate an Indian cabinet minister in British Columbia back in 1986. It's more than apparent now that India-Canada relations are threatening to plunge to a new low ever since the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, told Canada's parliament upon returning from India that an official on his entourage was right to tell the media that the government of India had manipulated the presence of a Khalistani terrorist at events to honour Mr. Trudeau's visit. Now, his popularity in Canada has been on a steady downward graph and desperate times, it seems, call for desperate measures. We on Senior Foreign Editor Senator Padma Rao looks at what Mr. Trudeau said, what the Khalistani separatists said and how the government of India has struck back. His week-long family vacation came under fire from Canada's media. His costume parade during those seven days evoked much laughter amongst Indians who watched bewildered as the undoubtedly photogenic Prime Minister Justin Trudeau changed as many glittering gaudy outfits as any respectable Bollywood star in a song and dance sequence. From the minute Mr. Trudeau touched down in New Delhi to be greeted by a junior official to the embarrassment over a former Khalistan militant being invited and then uninvited to dinner in New Delhi. There has rarely been an official visit by the Prime Minister of any country to any other that has been quite as disastrous. And now there's a new scandal. The former Khalistan militant Jaspal Atwal has told the Canadian media that Mr. Trudeau and he are friends. Atwal, who once tried to kill a moderate politician from India and was convicted to 20 years in prison, claimed that to Mr. Trudeau, who often hung out with Jaspal in his hammer, Atwal was simply jazz. The Prime Minister's office seemingly suffered amnesia because it responded by saying that Mr. Trudeau did not know Jaspal Atwal at all. Now the Canadian PM has gone a step further. He has pinned the entire blame for inviting Jaspal Atwal to two official Canadian dinners during his India trip, bizarrely and absurdly upon India itself. It all began with a report by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC, earlier this week. The report quoted a senior Canadian government official and here's what he said. The invitation to Jaspal Atwal was issued by the High Commission of Canada in India. Yet, the high-ranking Canadian official told CBC that rogue political elements in India may have orchestrated the embarrassing invitation. And why would India do that? because the official was quoted as saying India wanted to make the Canadian government appear sympathetic to Sikh extremism, unquote. There was few roar in Canada's parliament, mostly from Canada's opposition conservatives on the heels of the CBC report. During his very first appearance in parliament since returning from India, the increasingly unpopular Mr. Trudeau was asked whether he, quote, agrees or disavows the allegations made by his senior security official, unquote. Listen in to what the PM said. Uh, one of our top diplomats and security officials uh, says something to Canadians. It's because they know it to be true. Order. The grilling didn't stop there. The Conservative MP asked the PM another question and received an answer which could best be described as vague. 
When the PM was asked whether he could assure Canadians that no other terrorists, former or present, were invited by Mr. Trudeau and his government to various functions while in India, Mr. Trudeau resorted to obfuscation. Our national security agencies and police agencies do everything necessary to keep all Canadians safe at all times, he said. Meanwhile, the unwanted dinner guest Atwal himself has told media persons that he was still on a Government of India blacklist, had not been removed from it to facilitate his visa or even to be invited to dinner. He confirmed that the invitation came from the Canadian High Commission in New Delhi, that it was not withdrawn and that he himself stayed away from that dinner in order not to embarrass Mr. Justin Trudeau. Jaspal Atwal calls the allegations of India's role in his dinner invitation a total lie. India's government has nothing to do with anything, he said. I think this is something which should be... New Delhi is not taking the astounding charge from none other than Canada's Prime Minister lightly and has hit back with full force, making it very clear just who invited whom to dinner in India. The statement issued by New Delhi termed the allegations baseless. The government of India, including the security agencies, had nothing to do with the presence of Jaspal Atwal at the event hosted by the Canadian High Commissioner in Mumbai or the invitation issued to Atwal for the Canadian High Commissioner's reception in New Delhi. Any suggestion to the contrary is baseless and unacceptable, the statement from the government of India said. Padma Rao, Beyond.